All right, uh, Ian. Let's talk about the Framemeister, real real quick. Well, we're going to talk about the Retro Tink first. Okay. Uh, so Retro Tink, um, uh, this is not an advertisement. I have used their products. Uh, I like the Scart Two X. I have it. Um, Retro Tink is the company created a line doubler, the Retro Tink Two X, which for a really reasonable price, you can hook up a lot of systems to it, and it displays them uh in a nice way on an hd tv a flat screen tv i am not even going to pretend to understand what is going on technically um but i've had one and i've used one it was seen as uh a cheap like kind of a cheaper sort of half step up to what the frame meister did which has always been a hd very, upscaler yes which has always been an incredibly um an incredibly popular hd upscaler introduces little lag um, I had one for a long time, uh, lots of bells and whistles, and did a good job. But there was nothing that really directly competed with it until the RetroTINK 5X came out. The RetroTINK 5X has been in development for a long-ass time. Uh, they just released their first batch of units on May 1st that were... Uh, it wasn't a pre-order, they were orders. Uh, he didn't. I don't think they did any pre-orders for it. It was simply, I have this many units, we're going to st start taking orders on May 1st, and they're going to get shipped out. They're already out of stock. Yeah, I think he said the same day they were going to get shipped out. Um, so yes, they're already out of stock. Sold out. The uh, next run is supposed to be June, July. It says hopefully stable production and inventory from that point on. And these cost uh, two seventy five. Two seventy five. They, they crossed out three hundred. It's an early bird thing, but it is an early bird thing. Okay. Even at three hundred, um, that seems to be a pretty good price. Uh, Frame Meisters uh, were. I don't know what the actual retail was, but I think it was around three fifty. And they stopped making the Frame Meisters. They stopped more making them a couple of years ago. So, so, th so this is a replacement potentially item for that. So we finally have a replacement, and in some ways that I once again will not try to explain. I'm sure it is better than the Frame Meister in some ways. It would only make sense that it would be, uh, since it's and, you know it had years to iterate on the design. So Retro Pink, you get input pores, you get composite. Pink, retro Tink. I said Retro Pink. I think you said Pink. Retro Tink, uh, you get composite. Uh, S video component RGB and composite on a SCART connector. Okay, that'll cover most of the stuff you need, right? Uh, you get all the different resolutions, and according to this, you, you drop free gaming on titles that switch between 240p and 480i. So that was important for what I realized. Uh, there were some games, I think it was like some Saturn games that switch resolution, and some some of those later systems from like the late 90s have different parts of the game where it's different resolution, and that can screw with some of these upscalers apparently. So that's a solution uh, right here, that which is fine. Um, yeah, if you're a person that loves the, you know the upscale stuff, and you you want to play it on a an LCD or LED TV, this is a good product to use the original consoles. Yeah, I, I based on my my usage of their previous products, I have high expectations for this, and I think it will probably be a great product. Latency is between 0.25 to 1.25 frames in triple buffering, so that's going to be you're not going to be able to notice at all. That's very good. I mean, that's pretty damn good. Uh, I think that beats the Frame Meister handily. Um, so this is great, but it has uh, led us to notice something that's kind of going on on eBay uh, with the Frame Meister, which we had discussed. So lots of people held on to the Frame Meister. Um, the, the value of the Frame Meister went up value. Uh, a number of times uh, over the past few years, especially after uh, they stopped producing it. Um, you know, a unit that used to be able to be obtainable for, I'd say, you know, 300, if you knew where to look to 350, um, started to, you know, get into the 400, 500 mark, uh, dollar market before, um, you know, people were aware that there was going to be a replacement. But sure. now it seems like people are trying to get rid of these frame meisters, and it seems like there is a little bit of controversy, or... a little bit of controversy, a little bit of shenanigans going on oh. on eBay involving these to try to keep the price artificially as high as possible. Now that there's a uh, replacement out, um, this but... comes from uh, someone on Twitter uh, that is re, re, re uh, his name is Mike, Mike. And it looks like there's reporting on this from the Retro Games, Retro Games fan Facebook group. It says, uh, "Hey folks, FYI, a lot of people are dumping their Frame Meister in favor of the upcoming Retro Tink 5X. Warning: If you look at the sold listings for the Frame Meister on eBay, those prices are greatly inflated. There seems to be a coordinated effort to inflate the price, since their value is probably going to tank now that there's another viable retail option for SCART. I myself put my Frame Meister on eBay." The winning bidder bid $200 more than the one below him, but they had a brand new account 
with zero feedback. Of course, they did not pay. After this, I took another look at the sold listings and saw a lot of Framemeister auctions were won for $600 to $700 by similar, probably burner accounts. So, okay, Ian, I put up a little link to the, the past sold listings, and there are a lot that are between six to $700 on here. Um, some that are lower, but there is, there's one that went for $810. There's a lot went for 600. So I clicked around and uh, Mike is correct here. There are at least two listings that were one and, and were not bought and were relisted. One went for $810 and then was re, was relisted. For example, when I click on the bids on that, um, the person had the, the winning bidder wasn't zero, but they had only 17, but it was relisted. I did find a couple others, if you look, that was one with someone that had a, w w zero feedback, the buyer. Yeah. And I want to point uh, out the one that was won by the uh, person with 17 feedback, um, it was, sh so it was... Relisted. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, what I'm looking at is this original auction. It was originally at, uh, at 308, it was at 440. Two zero feedback bidders come in and bump it from 440 to 800. Wow. Then to 860. And then that final bid comes in at 870. And then it was relisted. Just to show you the shenanigans, this one, maybe this is the one that uh, that Mike put up. I don't know. But um, the original the original went for 810. It was relisted. And when it came back around again, 571. It dropped uh, when it was relisted. That's one of them. So there's definitely shenanigans going on. That's that's without a doubt there's shenanigans going on here. I, I I'm not even cross referencing the highest the highest bids on here because you only can see feedback in some of the, the letters that you can't right. see the full anymore. But it looks like yeah, there's definitely shenanigans going on here. Like I said, I just I found four right off. One with two different zero feedback bidders. Bid one up from looks like two hundred dollars up to six eighty on April nineteenth. That's their plain as day in front of my eyes. Right. Who knows where that would would have ended up at? Maybe in the two hundreds, maybe three hundred. It wouldn't have been six eighty, that's for sure. Uh, and then there's another one here. This one is crazy. This one is. Uh, you looking at the one that ended at six hundred and ten? Yeah, the one that ended at six hundred and ten. That's nuts. It was a four hundred. There was a four hundred dollar bid, um, uh, a few days before the auction ended, and then um, one, two, three, four. Five bidders come in with zero feedback well, and take it from 400 to 610. Well, and that's the same user, but they keep bidding it up. Right. Okay. So they kept bidding it up. And but then, against another zero feedback. Back, yes. So they did it on purpose. They used two different accounts or did it in concert with. And yeah, this is bad. This is why this is bad. We talked about this uh, with retro game prices in general is that if you don't know any better, like eBay doesn't take out after the fact saw listings that aren't paid for. It should like have like a different color or say this wasn't paid right. for. It doesn't do that. So if you didn't know any better and you wanted to get one of these frame meisters, you'd think that was the going price. You might, yeah, you might think, oh wow, I got to spend that much money. There, it's a trick. It's a trick, and it, and it is, looks like it, it is like it looks like it looks like it's being done. And not even even deeping digger in, uh, deeping digger, uh, digger, deeping, deeper. digging deeper, D digging deeper. <laughs> Did I say deeping digger? Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking of the old game from the PC. Without even uh, deeping into this anymore, um, <laughs> there's something going on. Yes, there's something yes, going there's on. There's clearly something going on. Um, and as we said, it, it, it's 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 people who. Oh, this all goes back to my least favorite statement ever when it comes to selling things. I'm just trying to get out of it what I put into it. And you especially can't do that with something that's mechanical or hardware because. You can't do this with time. Time marches on. Yes. And there uh, are going to be people who are going to try to make the frame life of this collectible thing. That no. was, it was important for a long time. No, no. There's a better thing out now, or there's a thing yeah. that can replace it that's cheaper. It's time to move on. No, it's your frame meister no longer means anything. My, my, it does not need to be that expensive. My, my tape recorder that, that I tape myself doing mock, you know, baseball announcing in 1985 as a kid, I sold the tapes. That tape recorder isn't worth a ton of money because, oh, that was, that was a, uh, cutting edge at the time you know it's a right. it's a no i'm sorry you're gonna lose your money gonna lose it and that's but it's it's only good that more people can get a new product that's filling a demand in the marketplace yeah no it's that's great beautiful it, this is a good thing all around i'm happy that the retro tink 5x is out he's I, not upset he's not gonna do a fake auction no i i, I sold i sold my uh my frame meister to daniel actually after i got the 2x our daniel our daniel uh, winter ion okay 
um, because I no longer needed it. The 2X honestly does what I need it to do. Does the job. It, does, does the job. Would you get this one potentially? I, I would potentially get this one, but I'm not in a rush to go get it. I Like sure. I said, I think it's going to be great for those people who want it, but I realize that I don't necessarily personally need that level. I would really like to see what the artificial scan lines on this look like, because I have seen good artificial scan lines, but they are few and far between. That might actually be nice to see. The, 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 your retro tank doesn't have that? It does, I, but it's. I think it's just like a. It's an on or off thing, and I. I didn't particularly. Oh, you can't. Oh, oh this one's gonna have. This like, one's can, got the frame oh. meister style. You can adjust the intensity, the spacing, oh, et cetera, et cetera. That's nice. Yes, and that's I, a I, nice. I, I bet thing. you that they did a good job on it. Oh, okay. All right. So I guess that's that's the moral of the story is that when you buy tech, whether it's, you know, a, a DVD player. You know, you can't sell your DVD player because the Blu-ray player comes out and, and, and keep the same. Boy, I spent three hundred dollars on this DVD player back in two thousand one. I should be no. It's done. It's 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 tech. Tech depreciates so quickly. Usually, the, the frameized people are lucky that they stopped making it. They're lucky so that, that they yeah. had years years yeah. where they should have gotten rid of this, where it was worth more than it probably should have been because there was a vacuum in the market. Yeah. So good on good on the retro uh, tink. Uh, folks there. Maybe they'll do a retro pink version for Ian. They'll, they'll have a pink case. Oh, that would be lovely. I would love that. Get on that there, retro tink folks. Get on that. All right. Is that, is that, is that it here? That's it.